in a fresh blow to the French government, President Macron has been forced to accept the resignation of one of his key ministers. Interior Minister Gérard Colombe, who was once one of the president's uh, most loyal supporters, says he now plans to run as mayor in his hometown of Lyon. It's the third resignation from Macron's cabinet in just six weeks. Uh, well, let's get more on this from our correspondent, Annelise Borges, who's outside the French Interior Ministry. Good morning to you, Annelise. Um, just how bad is this uh, for Macron? Macron. Well, well, in one word, it's bad. It, this is undoubtedly the most serious blow the administration of Emmanuel Macron has been dealt. Why? Because Gérard Colomb is a political heavyweight, one of the biggest traditional figures within the administration, one of the pillars of this government, a man that was kept in the government to make a link to the past, to traditional politics, something that Emmanuel Macron wants to break away from. But he kept some key political figures to reassure people here in France that that political movement of his, En Marche, was indeed serious and wanted to play game. Well, Gérard Colomb was one of the biggest voices of support for Emmanuel Macron before and after he took office. So this is indeed a huge blow to an administration that has been already dealing with some other serious issues. Of course, we've all witnessed that big scandal surrounding the French uh, president's bodyguard, Alexandre Benalla, who was filmed roughing up, beating up some protesters back in May. And that very scandal seem, seemed to be the start of this bad period between the two man with uh, Colomb actually being quoted as saying that Macron uh, was not showing a lot of humility, that he was losing touch with uh, the common man and that he needed to be more à l'écoute. He needed to listen and that very few people were able to talk to him these days. Well, this uh, seems to have culminated in the end of uh, this ministry. He's now, uh, at, as we speak, in the building behind me, this is becoming official. The prime minister is taking over the interior ministry as well, something that hasn't happened in this country since the 1950s. So unprecedented times, an unprecedented crisis for Emmanuel Macron, who's having to deal with a lot at the moment. And do we have any idea of who might replace uh, Colomb and how long it might take to decide that replacement? Well, this is uh, the big question now. There are several names circulating throughout the night. Of course, uh, news channels have been all over this story uh, since the last few days when Colomb handed in his resi resignation and then that resignation was not accepted by the French president. Then he went ahead and said he was leaving in any way. Uh, so now we are waiting. There are a few names circulating, but for now, these are only rumors. For now, uh, 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 at least for now, this is business as usual. Edouard uh, Philippe is going to be uh, taking over. He's going to be presiding the meeting later today here at the Elysee Palace where all ministers will convey. This is a weekly meeting, but of course uh, there are talks of a big shakeup, a big cabinet reshuffle with a lot of ministries and a lot of changes in this administration. Annelise, thank you very much. Annelise Borges in Paris.